Well, smallmouth bass are my favorite fish by far. I chase them all over the country, and I've got some lures that I really love to use when I'm targeting smallies, and it has to do with the habitat and the characteristics of this fish. Number one is they love clear water, right? So this is gonna do a couple things for us. They are very, very sight oriented, and they're also more apt to get deep. Smallmouth also love rocky type of habitat and structure, and they are more apt to roam than let's say largemouth are. Smallmouth can just be a pile of them in a one spot, and then you know an hour later, they're way far away from that. When they get on bait fish, they really like to move around. So let's get into my favorite lures for them. Number one has got to be a tube. These soft tubes are so good. They're extremely versatile through the entire water column. With an insert tube head, you're very likely to catch one on the drop. Then on the bottom, you can bounce it, leave it sit, crack it, all types of things. And then a tube with an insert tube head swims through the water column so good as well so when you've got something that can work through the entire cast the entire presentation that is a lure that can really dial in what these fish want at any given moment number two is probably going to be a drop shot for me I've caught so many smallmouth on a drop shot and when they're fishing really deep water, I like to put a heavier weight on there and boom, just get down to depth quickly. And these little minnow type lures are just so, so good at catching just numbers of smallmouth. Number three is gonna be a Ned Rig because smallmouth love rocks, right? And Ned Rigs do a good job of imitating crayfish, whether that's just with a little short stick bait or we actually put a small soft plastic craw on our Ned Rig. When you have a hard bottom composition, it is just ideal for the Ned Rig to shine and put numbers in the boat and those compact sizes are so good for smallmouth. Next for me is if I can find riprap on a body of water, wow, I'm going to be burning square bills. Square bills just get hit by smallies so well when they're up on the riprap. I like to throw really small square bills or even like a 1.5. They just catch numbers of fish for me and it's so fun when they smash it. And for those times of the year when the smallmouth really get on the bait fish, I'm going to be throwing small little swim baits like this tiny rage swimmer here or something similar. The size just mimics the prey species that they feed on so often. And it's a great way to cover water. And when those smallmouth are on the move, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to cover water and stay with them. And if I had a number six, it's probably gonna be a hard suspending jerk bait because it can put numbers in the boat quick. Well, if you'd like to watch a video about the most critical factor for jerk bait success, go ahead and watch this one right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.